Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jedi TV. I am J11 and this is Football Match 2022. You for coming to and say with Bill and Ma. We are reviewing our season today. We've got the confetti falling from the sky because they believe we have overachieved again, as you would expect. And I like to think we've had a good season, personally. Another mid-table finish. We've never faced Loden 12, which actually means this is actually our worst season in the top flight, despite the fact we've actually broken our own record for most points in the league campaign. Position-wise, we were worse than before. But there you go. Players we let go. Transfers out. Barreto left us, which released him. He went to Burso. Barreto Sors actually signed Marcio, and he's actually done quite well for them, given everything else. I think they're second-tier side. Menetre went to Despotivo. There's others, and they are in the second tier as well. Wasn't consistently playing for them, but he was doing okay. Santos has still not found a club yet. And uh, he is wanted, so hopefully he gets a club soon, but he's not found a club. Nuno Gonzalez, well, hasn't played. Backup goalkeeper, what you expect? Loans out, well, we let a load of players go on loan. And Andre Denelin was actually really good. Two goals, 10 assists, and I think in the second or third tier. He's definitely the two. Pereira went out on loan, did okay as well. Six goals to his name. We got Max Torres out on loan. Wasn't always playing, but he did get two goals. Carlos Silva getting eight goals for his assists. Daniel Okende could be about to get Lodotana promoted to the top flight, and he got 10 goals and six assists in the second tier. So he's definitely not a bad player. Boateng wasn't playing a lot for his team. We brought him back, and you know what? He did well for me instead, so I'm happy with that. Fortes out on loan to Olivier de, de Total and did okay. We got Nihas also not really doing a lot to impress, but he got game time regardless. Verona went out to Mafra, did okay. Played 44 times, apparently. Don't know how that's worked out, but Antonio Vaz also played in for Aruka, but wasn't playing a lot. He was actually concerned about the way he was being played, so there you go. And then side says also was terrible. Will Pope went on loan, did nothing. He's going to let go at the end of the year. But yes, we've got 12 plays. We're only expected to avoid relegation. We comfortably did that. And we got twice as many points as we needed to. Now, admittedly, admittedly, this is still a good season, even if we were at times looking rather questionable. We had some spells of form without winning. I want to tell you enough, the end of season form between the Benfica and Porto games was probably our best one of form of the season. And that for me is very exciting. We can do more though. We should do more. Even if this is going to be our last season with Ventura in the team. Because let's be honest. Why would he still be in the team after this season? We're not being in Europe. He's got release clause. He's not signing a new contract. And really it's one of those things. Tassas de Portugal got to the fourth round. We're actually supposed to get to the fifth round. But Tassas de Fred knocked us out. So it is what it is. Allianz Cup. We weren't expected to do much. And we got to the second phase though. So... We did do well, so it's not the end of the world there. Biggest win was a 4-0 win away from home against Nacional. We went down to 10 minutes, I faced a Mitch, which took full advantage of that. The match, remember, was the Santa Clara victory away from home. And the goal of the season was Ventura's goal against Santa Clara in January. There's a lot of Santa Clara in this, actually. It's surprising, but there you go. Ventura showing why he's very highly regarded. I think it's the goal I remember it being the best goal. I even said at the time, that's probably the goal of the season. So, good to see he's... On that chart. Finances. We've managed to actually get another 300,000 in the sponsorship. We are now a three-star team, which is very good. We lost a bit of money in the forecast revenue, about 300,000, but we're still fine. We get an extra thousand in the corporate hospitality. We get an extra 5,000 in the competition prize money. But we did lose about 40,000 in the matchday commercial and retail, which is not ideal. We did also make 671,000 in merchandise. And 67,000 of it, 160, being non-domestic. We also sold 8,712 shirts. The shirt sellers being Ventura, Ribeiro, Alvarez, Pereira, and Quintanero. So, we've done well. How it lined up was this. And yes, the fact that the 4 2 4 was our best love in the end is saying a lot. And when you look at the team, you've got Trebulo doing there. Good job. You've got Lasca, Alvarez, and Ventura also doing really well. Ventura getting 12 goals, 12 assists. He's played the player of the season, and you look at him and you think, wow, how are we going to replace that? And that's the difficult thing, isn't it, really, to figure that out. But here we are. So the player of the season was actually Lasker. Well, Ventura's the young player of the season. Ventura also was a top goal scorer, had the goal of the season, got the most assists, got the most player of the matches, got the highest average rating, and Lewis Santos can play the most passes per 90, which really makes me wonder, how did Lasker get the player of the season and not Ventura? And now Odais has actually broken a record for most league appearances by a player. He's now made 346 appearances in the league for us. Competition awards, Pani Tizero managed to get the under-21 
Player of the Year award. I don't know how, but there we go. We've done well. And looking at this, the fact that we're looking at our 2023 season and there's only one player set at the club in Odai and Tunis is very fascinating. And it really tells me what I need to know. Hugo Sandoval is still playing. I think he's just moved, actually, it looks like. Yeah, he's just moved to a new club in the top flight of Brazilian football. I don't know what he's going to do now. He says he wants to be a coach afterwards. He's not happy with the lack of game time he's gained as well, but wants to go into coaching review and management. If he ever wants to do that, I'm more than happy to take him aboard because I would do that. But yeah, a lot of players no longer with us. They were playing us well or retiring, so it's one of those things. What is the expectations for next year? Time players is for a profit. I hate you guys so much. They want me to finish in relegation playoffs. So they seriously believe that we should be struggling and they are not allowing me to get rid of the sale of players for a profit. You idiots. I hate you. You are morons. Try and be smart for goodness sake. We're also not going to do the sign thing because let's be honest, we don't want that. Oh, they also want me to be an established side after the next season and then to be continue being established. At least we've not had to worry about a lot of things, right? Because that'd be awkward. Be established. So enough of us be what we're doing right now. No. You're not doing this. Come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right. They're planning they want me to do that. You morons. I hate these people sometimes. I hate the fact we're being forced to sign players. Well, we're not signing players. We're using the youth system for that. Because why would I do that? All right. So let's tell the players that we are expected to avoid relegation. Even if we've moved with the relegation playoffs. They're happy with that. Brilliant. I'm not gonna do promises because why would i do that i'm not stupid i don't want to lose the locker room even if some of you are upset by that so training expectations training area um i'm gonna go with the Combrera because it's a better place for me and we can just have host a load of people and joseph patricino is now considered a third tier player i like to think that's a good sign that we're gonna have a good play in the future but what we're going to do is see he gets promoted through the relegation player because Santa Clara is Lutano. That's interesting to me. And we do know who has gone up in the other two divisions, the other two spots. Martima and Estabel, so that's two more teams there. We have not coming up straight away is interesting. And actually, all the players that took, apart from Cardez, all the teams did okay. And the teams that blow my players in the division anyway were okay. So I'm actually interested to see what happens now. Yeah, we're going to see who gets promoted. We're also going to see what our sponsorship is going to be like. And we're going to try and see if we can improve our facilities. Because why wouldn't I try that? It's one of those things. We've literally picked up where we left off last time. And hopefully, we're going to be good. I'm also going to try and be cheeky. And try and get in the field at the club again. We've got a few. So, let's see what we can do. Can I get the youth recruitment? They're not letting me do anything, are they? No. Well... It is one of those things. They're not going to let me do it. Whatever. I'll see you as soon as we get the sponsorship money. And if we see... Actually, I'm going to be back once we see the uh, board budgets for next year. So, I'll see you there. Okay, so our budget has just come in. We've actually got an increased transfer budget of 475000 now. And a wage budget of 57000 So, they're actually going up. I guess it's because we've got more money now. Since, you know, compared to last year, we got 514000 We made a profit of 553000 So, we're looking stronger. And... The more we can do is the better. I mean, if we can get to that sort of height again of 2.09 million, then we're good. Now, admittedly, a lot of that we lost a lot of money before was because I spent money on the, tr on the facilities. But hey, we want to get improvements as much as possible. So let's get going. Okay, so um, it's finally happened. It has finally happened. We're getting offers for Ventura. I am not happy with the offer. Why have your value gone down to 9 to 10? Oh, no. This is, this is one of those things. I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't think it happened this early. I didn't think any Austrian and Belgian clubs coming in. I am still going to say no, that none of these offers are really to my liking. And we need to start getting some good offers. Or else I'm not saying Ventura. This is good money, though. I'm not upset with the money. It's just when I was getting, you know, offers of... I should have tried to sell it before this started. I really should have done. What a shame this is. Okay, he's upset. I'm going to have to try and negotiate for... No! You absolute pillock! Absolutely not! I'm not, I'm not willing to discuss this. You are... You're not doing this. No, 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 no. No. Okay, I'm trying to sell... Ventura and I'm looking at these offers. I'm not excited by these offers. Like, if you're gonna give me an offer, one, I need a high percentage 
of selling arm fee because let's be honest it's not a good offer uh hanover they need more money so hanover is a no-go for me everyone else like Wolfsburg, Don Graz, and Chiloy. I'm going to turn all of these down because, quite frankly, they're insulting to me. And I'm just going to reject all of these offers right now because they're not good enough. Give me actual money, for goodness sake. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Aston Villa, you wonderful, but you wonderful, wonderful people. I love Aston Villa. Aston Villa, my new best friends. They're actually offering this money. What the hell? Where they got this money from? Oh my goodness. I want to check. Do they have actually have, have they got a really exciting owner? No, they don't. The fact that Aston Villa have actually just offered me 32 minutes for Ventura. Yes, please. Yes, please. You wonderful people. Oh, I am excited. Aston Villa, you are my favorite people. Yes, get in. Okay, so we've just got some new stuff sorted out. We've got more of our sponsorship brought in. We've actually just seen who's been promoted. We've now got 3.6 million in the bank and 3.4 million in sponsorship. So suddenly it's jumped from 2.6 to 3.8. I don't know how. So let's check this out. We've had a new sponsorship here. It's about a three-year deal somewhere. I feel it's a three-year deal somewhere. I don't know where it's come from, but we've got so many individual deals now. It's ridiculous. We're making a lot of money, and we haven't done the sell Ventura yet, but if this deal goes through, then we are very happy. Yeah, okay, I've just seen this now. So let's break this down. It's all in actual money, so 16.75 million up front, and 15.5 million installments, two of them. So for me, this is massive, and we get 40% profit on the next sale, which... Honestly, it's probably the best deal I could have gotten. I'm amazed they've actually gone in for him and just offered the money. I am shocked they've done it. So what we're going to do is we are going to see if we can get the sale sorted out today in this video. And we're also going to try and convince the board to improve some facilities. So let's improve the U facilities and let's try and improve the... Tr no, let's not let's do the training facilities first and foremost. Also... This game is happening. We're going to see if they get promoted or not. Santa Clara did not get relegated. They won both games. Lula Tano did not get promoted, unfortunately for us. But hey, it's one of those things. Also, we just seen who won the Champions League. And, oh, it's a German team that you might not like. RB Leipzig have just beaten Manchester United in the Champions League final, meaning that two German clubs have won the Champions League in the last two seasons. And it's the second time Leipzig have won it, having won it in 2027. They've now won it in 2036. So they've done a good job, one would think. And, oh, Leipzig are doing really well for themselves. But yes, Chavez and Akatiba are the only two teams coming down this year. Santa Clara have survived by the skin of their teeth. Well, the only two teams to be going up are Maritima and Estoril. Estoril not being in the top flight for many, many years at this point. But you look at this, they've not been up here since 2031. They got ready to get straight back down. So not really been a consistent top flight team since 22-23. So it's been a long time since Estoril have been actually reductive here. I like to think, having won the major cup as a second tier side they can do well this year who knows that being said we should probably check the coefficients and oh my goodness identical we are identical to scotland and through absolute luck it feels like we're gonna stay above scotland but identical points wow we got lucky we got really lucky to be above scotland this year my word if Hanover wanted to try and do this as well, then they are going to absolutely be a very happy team for me. Okay, the board are actually not happy. They think we should be signing first team players. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. I want us to improve the facilities. Okay, they're now suddenly accepting it. You idiots. You idiots. All right, how much is it going to cost? Two million to do? Okay, that works. That should be good then next year. So we've got that sorted out, but... Hopefully, as we are working on the facilities now to improve them to good, this move is going to be massive. Hopefully, the Ventura deal goes through now. And Leon went unbeaten. Leon went unbeaten. They have done the invincible season. Congratulations to them.
It's gonna happen. It's actually gonna happen. The word permit's actually gone through. Oh my god, we're gonna send to Villa for 30 million. Ladies and gentlemen, Victor Ventura is gonna be signing for Aston Villa. He signs for them in four days' time. We are getting 32 million. We've added 8.25 million in the transfer budget. And let's be honest, I can't blame the chairman for accepting this deal because I would have accepted it as well. But this is a massive deal. I was hoping to get this kind of money for Ventura. Now, now, 8.3 million in the bank already. We're going to wait until we get the official confirmation he's gone and he signs. But this is massive. Ladies and gentlemen, it's happened. Victor Ventura has signed for Villa for 32.21 million. It's the biggest ever so we've ever done. It's the biggest fee we've ever received. And let's be honest, that is a massive deal. And financially now, we are 18 million in the black. We are good for life now. We are absolutely good for life. 16 million up front, an extra 15 million in the next two years. We are good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, calls for an upgrade. Bald, let's improve the training facilities, please. Let's do this now. I need to do this. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? You idiots. Help our players improve. You've got to be kidding me. I am stupid. You, I'm not stupid. You are stupid. But you finally allowed me to talk to this. Come on. We've got this now. Another 3.65 million. That is massive. This is huge. We've got the money. Thank you very much. That's where we're going to end this here. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys will like and share this video. And that you subscribe to the channel. It really does help me a lot. But either way, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.